that among other places are the things that I've seen when I was in Tokyo, Japan almost a month ago. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, aside from the places that you have seen a minute or so ago, I've also been to several exhibits and shows, namely um, on the spot at um, Totem Ball Gallery. I've also been to Nikon sh um, Salon in Shinjuku where I've seen two shows NYC Yellow Blue and Takaramono Fukushima Kara. And I have also been to Epsite where I've seen a really, really fascinating exhibit by Motoda san called Sunday Harajuku. And when I went to Shabi, I've seen two shows by Yoneda Tomoko san and the World Press Photo 2013, which, if I am lucky enough, I might be able to catch it in Toronto if they happen to be showing there this year. Um, anyway. As, as far as photography is concerned, in, when I went to Japan, I actually tell I'll, I'll be really photography crazy when I went there, but somehow my the goal of being in Japan wasn't that clear enough when I went there, so for me I just took everything all in and took pictures as much as I can. I didn't shoot, I didn't take a lot of film base photos it's mostly digital um just because it was really humid and it was really busy on my end so but i did shot three slides and one black and white i think so i think that should be good for two weeks um if you're interested in seeing a clip of where i've been aside from the photography stuff i'll link everything down below as well as the shows and information because I know those two shows in Nikon, Shinju Nikon Salon in Shinjuku will be up in Nikon Ginza sometime in September and October so if you happen to be in Tokyo you may want to catch those. Um, photography. Uh, I didn't buy a lot of stuff rather I actually spent a lot of money going to shows and buying um, magazines and photo books. Um, there's one photo book that I, I am unable to show you today because I sent it to my boyfriend and it's Moriyama Daido's Bye Bye Photography and it actually looks small but it's really thick. It's kind of like a novel size, like a paperback size book and I haven't seen it but when I go to Toronto, I'll be able to go over that and, and see it. I think it features his earlier works so my boyfriend um, he kind of has a different reaction when he went over the photo book, but once I've seen it, I'll probably make a video out of it. Um, magazines. So we'll start with Nippon Camera, which is the August edition. These features um, 100 photographers and kind of like their top 5 cameras, and then they can, the magazine summarized the whole thing and then gave us like the number one choice by the like, Japanese photographers in their survey. Also, I bought, again, Joshi camera. Um, I made a video about this earlier this year. I bought a copy when I was in New York, and I got another one, and again, this time it's Oi Miyazaki that's in the cover. I haven't gone over most of these books, however, and magazines. Um, the one that I'm going through right now is the second edition of 311 Kids Photo Journal in Miyagi. This um, photo journal in a newspaper format actually features photos taken by children who survived the tsunami and the nuclear disaster in Japan in 2011. And then I also got and I got this in a really, at a really good deal. I got Hiromix's photo book. Um, it's called Hiromix Works Rocking On. A lot of like personal and commercial works are available here. And I'm actually a fan of snapshot aesthetics. And I think Hiromix is one of like the main figures, at least in Japanese photography field. And I've been having a hard time finding a good photo book by her. And this is one of the good ones I got. A really good deal. I got this at 
Mandarake in Nakano. And I got, finally got a copy of Patrick Chai's Modern Times. I haven't gone over these as well because I'm slowly taking in everything that I bought and um, I haven't really organized myself yet. So again, I apologize for this video. For the quality of this video, I tried shooting when I was in Tokyo but my camera's battery kept dying and I keep recording several times and it's not coming out really well. But anyway, um, hopefully this will turn out okay. And um, I also got Arimoto Shinya's photo book. I had to move far. It's kind of big, but it's really thin. And because these are shot using medium format, obviously the photos are square, 6x6. Six six. And I love this, but it's not mine. <laughs> um, I had to send it to my boyfriend, but um, I can't find a, a good carton to wrap it in. So when I go to Toronto, I'll put it in my luggage and send it and give it to him. But this one is amazing. So if you happen to be in Tokyo or um, if you like Shinya Arimoto's works, um, feel free to go to his website. Everything again is going to be down below. And I think he ships for a good amount of money. And so if it's still available, like I suggest you guys buy it because it's really, really good. Um, Apart from those, I have met three really good people that I have been in contact with and I've been admiring for quite a while. Um, first, I've met um, Kichi Joji from Twitter and Flickr, um, as well as Kermit. Um, these are two people that I usually interact with on, on Flickr and Twitter and talking about photography and stuff. So it's really nice to meet them and they were, they were really warm and gracious and welcoming me to Tokyo for a couple of weeks. And then I've also met John Saipal from Tokyo Camera Style. As I mentioned, I've been to his show and I was fortunate enough to meet him in person. It was really nice and he showed me a lot of photo books and we talk, we talk about a lot of stuff and it was very enlightening to say the least. So John, thanks so much. And my two of my cameras were actually at Tokyo Camera Style, so I'll link them all down below as well. And then, um, I mentioned about the stores that I've been to, I actually bought a camera. So the story was I was supposed to find an Olympus Pen F for my boyfriend, um, so he sent me um, money to pay for it, obviously, but we are unable to find one. So he said like, why don't you just find a, a, a Hexar for you? And we tried to find one and we went to a store and um, that my friend frequently goes to and then the owner said that it's actually kind of hard to find it in Tokyo. I mean with the exception of people who actually own it. So that um, broke me into pieces because I'm like oh I can't find a Hexar. So, However, um, my goal in Japan is to actually buy and replace my F55 which I have sold. A month and a half ago because I have come to a decision that I think I may be worth it to move on to a better um, or a more heavy duty AF film camera so that was my goal and the one thing that was on my mind was a Nikon F100 or a Nikon F4 um, I've, I, I saw an F4 and that's the same store where I asked about the Hexar and it was really heavy so, but they actually have the F100 and I actually got it. Uh, this one is now outfitted with my Nifty 50, but I got a Nikon F100 and it looks like new. Like my D7000 is the one that I'm using right now to record this video. It's actually look, it actually looked more battered <laughs> than this camera. It was really good. And apart from that, I actually got a camera bag um, from the same from the store where I got it and I actually got it for free I was supposed to buy it but they gave it for me for free and I got a battery for my Kyocera Samurai um, AF half frame camera and the last but not the least is that Kishi Joji was very gracious um, for giving me this case. This is actually empty right now because the contents, he actually gave me film as well. 
um, are in the fridge at the moment. So I actually thought this is really awesome because it only has the five rolls of film because as much as I love my eggshell cases from Fuji and Japan Camera Hunter, I don't really need 10 rolls of film on, on a given day. Like I think five is awesome. So which by the way I think is a, is a good number for the 120 film case because I'm planning to buy that as well before the end the year ends. So really excited. Um this one kind of opens randomly though, so I think I'm gonna put like a rubber band or something. But yeah, basically that's it. So um Japan is a wonderful place I think uh, I may go there next time um, possibly with my boyfriend because he really wanted to take pictures there and maybe next time we may go on a different parts of the country because I was in metropolitan Tokyo for the most part um, during my stay and I stayed in Kyoto for a couple of days but that was basically it um, again all the information about the shows the books that I got um, and the places that I've been to are going to be on the description box to make this video really short and sweet. And I hope you guys enjoy this episode and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!